Hello, everybody. Black Rue Investing here. I am not a financial advisor. just want to put that out there. So let's get into it. So I'm doing a top stocks video right now. And why, pray tell, am I putting it out on Friday? Putting it out on Friday because some of the earnings, like you can see here with uh, Tattooed Chef, are going to be on the 9th, which is Monday. So if you want to get in, you probably want to get in Friday. But first, let's recap last week. We had a great week last week. Jumia went from 1537 to 1935. 25.8% up from last week. Fetch 20% up from last week. SCE 15% up from last week. NEO 26% up from last week. Uh, Very Good Butcher 34% up from last week. MTSI 11.6% up from last week. And probably more once we uh, head into Friday. Their earnings were great. They beat beat. So I'm looking for it to gap up tomorrow um, because I'm recording this here Thursday night. And Qualcomm 17% up here. So we had a great week last week. Hopefully we can continue this. Um, Yeah, let's let's, let's get it going. So next seven stocks we're going to talk about this week, the seven top stocks. We're going to start with Jumia and Fetch and SCE again. Their earnings are next week, so really looking for them to pop. If you want to get into more detail, see my last week's video on Jumia and Fetch and uh, SCE. Um, basically, we're looking to play the catalysts. The catalysts we're looking to play are their earnings. And we can go over here to Benzinga, and I can show you when the earnings are upcoming for them. I love Benzinga. By the way, I am now an affiliate with Benzinga. I'll leave the link in the video. Um, I love Benzinga. I I couldn't get by without it. Like, the tool just literally puts everything right here. Makes it real easy, real simple. Everything's here for you to use. So, let's see here. Um... So let's start with Jumia. So earnings are on the 10th. Four days from now, so next week. Last earnings they beat beat. SCE, which is surprising because I know they kind of gapped up. They missed the earnings per share, but they beat really in revenue. So that's 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 the thing after like a year of cruising in the millions of revenue they got back to a billion again in revenue so people must have really loved seeing that um let's see here farfetch they also beat and beat as you can see they're steadily increasing their revenues so that's that's really good to see so they're probably going to continue that path. Alrighty, so the next stocks we're going to be looking at here are NEO and XPEV, which is XPing. So these are Chinese EV companies. NEO, their earnings are 17, uh, 11, 17, which is week after next. But I still think it may be a great idea to get in this week and run it up. And uh, just because it may it may dump out before earnings. So um, if you get in now, you can continue the ride up. So let's take a little look at the website. As you can see, they have their battery launch day tomorrow. So things are probably going to be popping off tomorrow. They're trying to launch their battery as a service type technology, which is really awesome because in China, so I've been told, 
um, people can't afford to just kind of sit at the battery charger for two hours. It's easier to just swap the battery. And uh, Neo said they can do that in something like, gosh, I know I know it's at like 15 minutes or something like that, something real fast. So, so mostly they make SUVs and crossover like vehicles. Let's see if they can tell us about how fast it is. Okay, they don't, but I I hear it's like 15 minutes. Okay. So we're looking to play the earnings run there. Let's look at Xping. So Xping is an up and coming um, EV company. Um, unlike Neo, it has its own factory, so they can directly control their supply chain and how much they want to build and expand their operation. Neo does not have their own factory, even though they're kind of ahead of the game as far as like earnings and stuff like that are um, concerned. Um, but here, Xping, they're they're definitely on the rise here and what separates Xping from Neo is Xping has an autopilot service. So here you go Xpilot. So they have a X they have their autopilot service and they have um their own factory so they're very they're very up and coming here and um china has some rules where they want i believe 25 percent of their driving force to be ev like it's a mandatory law by i think it's something like 2025 you can fact check me on that but yeah i'm looking for these guys to have a good good earnings and here we are with uh, Xping its earnings or actually did they say their earnings are on the 14th I think they did let's double check here with Benzinga Okay, so their earnings are on the 12th, which is next Thursday. So this will give us a, a really an eye into NEO, even though NEO's kind of already told us they doubled their car production. Like they, um, they sold double the amount of cars they sold at this point last year. So um, that's really, really something to... To just know that um, these guys are um, they're experiencing a lot of growth in the EV market in China and um, Neo Xping and Li Motors are the leaders of that. Um, I personally like Xping and Neo better because they're fully electric, whereas Li is more um, just a hybrid. And that that technology is kind of going extinct, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't invest in Leap Motors the way it's doing lately. It's not on our list, but we can take a look at it. And theirs are on Friday. Their earnings. So as you can see, boom. I, I don't like them as much as Neo and Xping long term, but you may be one to play just for the earnings play next week. Because they also announced really good sales. Let me see if I can find that.
Uh, yeah, they, they announced really good sales too. I'm not sure if I can find that, but let's go on to the next ones. So the next two are Rocket and Tattooed Chef. So Rocket, their earnings are 11, 10, 20, 20, and they're a real estate uh, mortgage company. They do it all online. So um, some people even argue that Rocket is like a tech company in the fact that they have this online tech that just streamlines mortgages. You don't have to wait for this underwriter and all this other stuff. Just put in your information and it tells you right away if you're eligible. So last earnings was a beat beat, but they lowered guidance and um, they're they're coming into the section here like traditionally uh, the fourth quarter is like slower for um, for mortgages because people tend to not not rent during that time or not uh, buy during that time. But um, the way it's going with COVID that may change because people are just storing their money in real estate. So. Got to say thanks out to the uh, on the chaos guys. I love those guys over there. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I was listening to them and they were saying that Zillow earnings have already occurred and that might give us a good indicator that Rocket will beat. So let's take a look at it here. Bring up Zillow. As you can see, they're gapped up, so those earnings must have looked pretty good. Yeah, look at that. So earnings were amazing. This is the first time they had a positive earnings per share in like a year and change. So Rocket's probably going to look good. And in fact, Rocket did well with their last earnings as well. Let's bring it up. See, as you can see, like billions of dollars of revenue, they crushed earnings. Estimated. 3.75 billion, 5 billion in revenue. EPS 88, 144. So no reason to say that they won't crush it again. And last but not least, we have Tattooed Chef. Earnings are on 11 9 2020. And like I said, that's part of the reason why I'm bringing this out right now because their earnings are on Monday and it'll be after market. So if you want to get in, Friday might be a good day to get in uh, because traditionally people sell off on Friday and they take their profits. So this might be a really good spot to get in on Tattoo Chef before the earnings on Monday. And I have their website here. No, I don't want to subscribe. So basically, and here they they just launched a um, e-commerce. So they're selling it directly to consumers online, which is awesome. Besides having it in stores, but as you can see, acai bowls, organic acai bowls, cauliflower pizza, buffalo cauliflower, like wings, I guess. So here they're doing like plant-based food as a frozen food that you can just have and do on the go. So that's awesome. And um, let me see here if I can find, I remember FMCI, that was the uh, SPAC they merged into. They had earnings and every one of them was a B. So here we go. They announced a preliminary revenue of 41 million for the third quarter that ended in September 
30th, a 71% increase year over year. So, so yeah, they, they'd already announced a little bit of something. And, um, yeah, so they, they've been steadily beating no reason to believe the Tattoo Chef doesn't beat again because COVID is just forcing people to stay inside, cook indoors. So um, no reason to believe that they won't do that again. So here it is, Tattoo Chef to report third quarter 2020 financial results on November 9th. So keep a lookout for that. And we've reached the end of the video. A um, couple of things I want you guys to keep in mind. Uh, if Biden wins this election, uh, solar power stocks are going to be on a run. Like uh, Sun Power Run, um, which is Sun Run Solar. Um, look out for the clean energy plug. Um, let's see here. Plug and Clean Spark and Flux Power. Let's take a quick look at those guys. Yep, so see, it's on a two day run here. If Biden wins, these guys are just going to continue to shoot through the roof. So. So keep a lookout if you hear that Biden's been declared the winner. Maybe you want to pick up a couple of these and hold it in your back pocket. Clean Spark. Let's see. What was the other one I mentioned? Plug. Let's see, all rallying on that. Possible Biden win. Sunrun, Sun Power, and as you can see, this is just so easy. Benzinga, Benzinga makes this just really easy for you guys. Um, if you guys stuck around for the end of the video, I very much appreciate it. Very much helps the channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you like Benzinga, the uh, affiliate link is down below. Uh, please pick it up. I They give you a free 30-day trial, so I think it's 30 days or two weeks. Don't quote me on that, but it's free, and you get to use the entire thing, uh, including Squawk. And Squawk basically gives you the news before everyone gets the news. It's, it's, it's awesome. Maybe one day I'll uh, demonstrate it on here when I go into um, best tools for stocks. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you later.